Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of DoCast. In this episode, we're just going to quickly go over how to set name servers for your Vista CP control panel. Now, this in concept can be used for other control panels and for just setting up um, name servers for your website servers in the future. So the first half of it, I'm just going to go over real quick utilizing the help or knowledge database um, of your domain registrar. Now I like to use Namecheap and they have a really really great support database where you can go ahead and you can search uh, for certain support topics and the one that we're going to be looking at is how to register personal name servers for your domain. Now again I use Namecheap here uh, for all of my domains. You may be using something like GoDaddy or OneN1.com or something like that but definitely check with their knowledge base on how to set up personal name servers for your domain. Now for Namecheap all you have to do is click on this help topic here. It'll take you step by step on how to set it up for you and it'll actually give you a video on how to do it. Now if I just go ahead and I skip through this video right here, I'll go ahead and I'll mute it. Um, right here you'll see that you're able to set up the name server. So ns1.yourdomain.com. Then you just put in the IP addresses here. And what that allows you to do is it allows you to go into Vista CP. So I have my Vista control panel set up already per the previous episodes. All I have to do is go into the DNS area or the domain name server area and I'll add a DNS domain. And right here I'll go ahead and I'll add in my domain or just for example's sake, I'm going to go ahead and put yourdomain.com. And in the IP address, I'll go ahead and I'll put the IP address of my server. Then I'll go ahead and I'll click on add. And that just basically adds the domain as a record within my DNS area. Now I can go to edit and I can add in a template here. And the template would be child ns. And so we'll go ahead and we'll save this. All right. And then we'll go into the packages area. And for the default package, you may have to do this for the other packages as well, depending on what you have set up. You just click on edit, and then you go to the name server area, and then you would put name server one or ns1.yourdomain.com. And then you would do the same thing with the ns2, and then you would go ahead and you would click on save. And this would go ahead and save the settings within Vista CP. Keep in mind, after you change the settings within your domain registrar, it can take anywhere from uh, 24 to 48 hours for everything to propagate through the internet. Once it propagates, however, you'll be able to freely use these name servers for other domains. So you could just create a new domain and set the name servers to ns1.yourdomain.com or ns 2 um, your domain.com. It's recommended that you put at least those two in there and that would be pretty much it. If you have any comments or suggestions, please do post them in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you guys and hope you have a great rest of the day. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode of DoCast.